Karens are known for their public freakouts, and boy, do they deliver. They can be seen going off on anyone, from store clerks to restaurant staff, and even complete strangers. From screaming at the top of their lungs to pointing their fingers aggressively, these Karens know just how to make an entrance. So the next time you encounter a Karen in public, think twice before you startle her. She might just have something up her sleeve. So in this one, we have a Karen who is a prison guard. Now Karen is being accused of having an inappropriate relationship with an inmate, which of course, Karen viciously denies. But what Karen doesn't realize is that the investigators already have all of the evidence that they need, such as... You felt me, I was like soaking through my clothes. A lot of that head game. <laughs> oh my God. And they already know all of the answers to the questions they're about to ask her. Karen's about to find out the hard way. We're notified of a possible improper relationship between you and uh, Jacob Parker. So we're here for that. And I just kind of want to talk to you about it and get your side of that story. I don't know anything about it. Okay. Have you talked to him on any jail phone calls or anything like that? Uh, no. None at all? Mm -hmm. So the thing that Karen is failing to realize here is that although they're asking her questions, it doesn't mean that they don't already know the answers to those questions because they actually do. And where would you think that this allegation would come from if there's nothing to it? Um, well, I had a feeling this was coming. So there was an inmate um, named Coker, Justin Coker. Okay. He got out of here for, I don't know what period of time. And he tried to contact me on Facebook. He sent me a message and I blocked him on Facebook. And um, I guess one time Parker was going back to be quiet to use the bathroom and he was talking like at the window with me. Mm -hmm. And I guess Coker like didn't like that, which I had no contact with him or anything. And um, Parker had told me that he had gone up to him and was like, don't talk to her or something crazy like that. So uh, I'm just not trying to be rude here. I'm just yeah. Why would you expect this conversation to come up from that? Like now, if that happened a few months ago. So you just heard Karen claim that the only time that she had contact with the inmate that she's accused of inappropriately having a relationship with was one time outside of the bathroom and that it was a jealous inmate who started the rumor. But the detectives are about to blow that up. I don't know exactly where how it started, like who it started from. Um, but I was told that it was brought to somebody's attention and then we looked at jail calls and there's jail calls between you and Parker yeah. and all that stuff's recorded. So mm -hmm. I don't think you're being completely truthful. Well, I, I kind of know that you're not. And I'm not trying to be rude when I say that. Yeah, no. um, I'm just kind of trying to lay it out on the table for you. Mm -hmm. So can you kind of tell me what's going on? Mm -hmm. um, I guess a few years ago, we, we talked and then I ended up here and then he ended up here. I didn't know he was here. I didn't like, it wasn't anything like that. Um, and so now that Karen is aware that they have phone records, she's claiming that she and the inmate had a relationship years ago, and that's what they were joking about on the phone in the prison. However, <laughs> if you actually listen to the recordings, which they're going to have Karen do, you can tell that she's lying. So what about some of these phone conversations? Um... No, no, not here or the phone. I thought no, I just mean the conversations y'all are having on the phone. No, no. Since he's been in here. Like, like sexual? Well, not, I'm not saying having phone sex, talking about sexual acts. My, from what I'm listening to on the calls, I take it as that you've given him oral sex at some point, is what no, I gather no, from no, these no, calls. No, no, no. no, that was like in the world, but we never like, we never dated. We just... Okay. What kind of conversations have you had with him since... You started working here and he's been in the jail. Uh, I don't know, just talking about what would happen after he got out. And then the jail call recordings, have you been talking to him like while you're at home? Like he calls you from the jail while you're at home or? Mm -hmm. Okay. So as this interrogation wears on, you can see that Karen's original story is starting to get a lot of holes poked in it. But in addition to being caught in a number of lies, 
Karen is revealing that she had a relationship with this inmate in the world, as she calls it, which is outside of prison. On top of that, right now, they're talking on the phone regularly. Keep in mind, in the beginning, before Karen knew that they had those phone records, she had claimed that she had only spoken to the inmate once outside of the bathroom, which now we know is not true. I haven't listened to this, but apparently there may be some talk in the calls about, like, photographs. Have you given him any photographs? Mm -mm. I gave him a photograph of his mom, which he had asked for, and of his dog, Jax. Okay. Yeah. Have you given him any photographs of you? Mm. No, because... So one of the things we're going to be doing is like looking at cameras and stuff. Well, now that Karen insists on continuing with her lies, they're going to make her listen to her own voice on the prison's recorded phone calls. Dude, has there been any times where y'all were alone? Mm -hmm. Or you go out of camera view or anything like that? Anything that's going to look suspicious that way? I don't think so. Okay, baby. Look at that. Baby, guess what? What, baby? I just won the blackjack game. <laughs> Yay. I, won, I just won $30. <clears throat> I got a lot of stuff to clean and get rid of before you come home. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm just trying to make you think I have all these secret things. Yeah, I bet you do. What? 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 What do you mean? I don't know. You probably got this weird swing hanging from the ceiling. Cannon's probably thinks it's a swing set. Oh, if I had that, you better believe I'd leave that for you. Would you really? Hell yeah. You let me put you in it? Yeah. Well, bar and everything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Can you just imagine how embarrassing it must be for Karen to listen to her own voice talking to this inmate about the things that they're talking about in the presence of these two male detectives? But the good news for Karen is they haven't talked about any inappropriate acts that have taken place inside the prison on the phone. Well, at least they haven't yet. I just want you to look at me sometimes and be like, damn, my woman's fine. Fine is fine. Mm -hmm. And you got a, a lot of that name. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it was in my best moments. I was just trying to get it done. Mm -hmm. Are you in bed? Don't even get me thinking about that because it makes me so mean. Like just going back and thinking about yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When you felt me, I was like soaking through my clothes. You get very very easy. I always want to have like that's not even not good. I mean, it's not like I just like look at someone. I'm like, oh my god, sorry. No, like of course, like I only give you. You kind of see how that sounds from like my point of view, like a more recent thing than three years ago. No, you talk about how profound this was, like just giving him this place that you like don't remember anything about anything about it. It's like uh, telling me something but you're having trouble coming up with details about it, you know what I mean? Like if it's that profound. I mean, I give him, how do you describe the I mean, is that Well, I don't want to know, like, about the blood. I'm just, yeah. So if this is a factual I, thing that happened three years ago, I feel like you would kind of remember some stuff about it. Like I yeah, feel like, I mean, like we said, in the car, we, you know. Like when I asked you who was there, him, of course, like when y'all met or whatever, and then when I asked, like, who else, you said it was like a bunch of friends. Yeah. But like you can remember one I mean, thing after you Chris. think about it for 30 seconds. So yeah, I mean, that's I was... not making sense to me. You seem to have blanks in your memory when we get to certain details, but you remember being groped in the blowjob from three years ago. I find that hard to believe. Okay? This is your one chance to be honest with us. Yes. Once we get up and walk out and we're done, mm -hmm. we're done. Have y'all had any inappropriate contact, whether it's groping, blowjobs, bad anything hand yes i am being vulgar to get a point across yeah no it's not none of that so just as the detectives have clearly pointed out to karen her story doesn't really add up but she's sticking with that story until she realizes it's game over and decides to come clean I mean, what is it uh i might have given him a back part of you 
In fact, yeah. part of the co-op? Okay. Mm -hmm. How long ago was that? Uh, and with that act, Karen has just confessed to a crime because it's illegal for a prison guard and an inmate to have that sort of a relationship. Even if the relationship would be consensual on the outside, in prison, because of the power disparity, such relationships are illegal. And now Karen is guilty of a crime. I'm not going to so, ask, but I feel like I know the answer. I'm losing my job. So that's that's not really up to me. Um, internal Affairs is aware. Investigation is separate from ours because mm -hmm. there's it's, it's two totally different um, things. So yeah, what um, kind of charges? Would, like so, it's it's illegal to have sexual contact with an inmate as an employee. Mm -hmm. So um, I said the ball kind of be in their court, but I'll let you know as soon as I hear something. Um, I mean, could I go to jail? That's up to the DA's office. I'll step in here, detective. I can answer that. Yes, Karen, you will get fired. And not only that, you are going to have to spend 100 days in the county jail for inappropriate contact with a prisoner. So for this one, I need you to pay especially close attention because within the video, there's a quiz and I need an answer. So there's a woman that you see in this video, and she goes to Taco Bell. Now, this woman has a reaction because of the cheese on her order. Now, it's up to you to tell me, is she having an allergic reaction to the cheese, or is she just a Karen throwing a hissy fit? Let me know. So in my opinion, this next clip features both a male and a female Karen. Female Karen didn't bring any money because when she told male Karen that they should go out to eat, he agrees and suggests the restaurant. Because he suggested the restaurant, female Karen thinks that he should pay. <laughs> male Karen doesn't see it that way. He thinks that she should pay for her food and he should pay for his food. But now... Male Karen is eating in front of female Karen and he won't take her home and he won't buy her anything unless, unless she does something. You'll see. And don't pay for my food. <laughs> really? You put the phone out? Yeah, really? I put my phone out. Hmm, this steak is so good. That's cool. Okay. If you invite somebody, don't y'all expect them to pay for your food? You Baby, invited me here. Don't you expect it? Like, I don't pay for women if I can't touch them. Y'all look like y'all think because you pretty, I'm supposed to be just cashing my money. The in. point of the day is to get to know each other. We didn't know each other. I'm gonna eat, pay for your food, pay for my own food, right? That wasn't part of the When you invited me on a date, I expected you to pay. I don't have any money, and I told you that. You still gonna sit here and eat in front of me? Why would you come to a date with no money? I thought you was gonna pay. You invited me. I didn't make plans. You made the plans. You made the plans. You should have the money. No, you said we should go out to eat. I said, okay, cool. No, no, no. We're no. going out to eat. No, but who slid and who DMs? That's wrong. You wanted me. Am I wrong? Am I right or am no, I wrong? I'm just tired of these broke trying to use. Now I'm a. I understand you. I'm saying these broke guys trying to use their money. They but gonna... you put me in the same category as them. 
in my opinion, Kyrie. Anyway, you need to, you need to. I don't know. I mean, Clay, it's still good though. I thought you was playing at first, but you're really not gonna buy me no food. And you're really not gonna take me home. You want me to sit here and stare at you while you eat? I'm saying we having dinner. No, you having dinner. I'm sitting here looking stupid. You ain't got nobody that can cash up some money? No, you. That's why I'm here with you. You ain't got no money? You coming over tonight? If you don't have no money, you shouldn't be going on dates. Are you coming over tonight? If you don't have any money, you shouldn't be going Let's on be clear. dates. Let's be clear. Why shit. do I want to? No, 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 no. no. Why it? should I go to your house on the first date? It's the first Let's, date. Since you want to talk shit, right? I asked you what I asked you. I said, can we hang out later? You're like, no, I'm going to go home. I'm a little sleepy, right? You said you're tired, right? Right. I just want to eat. But you're not too tired to eat. No. But you're not too tired to spend my money. No. Okay. Why can't you just, like, come over then? What do you want me to come over for? I can for? get you whatever you want if you want to come over. Come over for what? What you think? No, I don't want Watch to Watch the movie? This is the first date. Maybe the second date. Maybe the third date. I don't want to come to your house on the first date. What do I look like? I mean, you already called me. I didn't call you. This steak good though. They season it just right. We should get you some. I'm good. You are pathetic. I'm pathetic? I'm pathetic, but I got money to buy me steak, corn, You uh, could have at least took me home and came back by yourself. No, you said you, you said you wanna go out to eat. I thought you had some money. It's a problem, man. It's a problem with y'all, man. Y'all think that because y'all pretty, y'all can get the world and just use You can have this conversation by yourself. You can have this conversation by yourself. What's wrong? Hello. She went to the store. You leave your five-year-old home alone so you can go smoke weed. You gotta hang the phone up. We're gonna handcuff you. Don't make it worse. So last spring, the police were called because neighbors heard a crying child who sounded like he was in desperate need. When the police arrived, they discovered a five-year-old boy at home alone, crying, scared, and looking for his mom. This is what happened next. Yeah. Hi, did you call? Yes, I did. Hey, y'all, come here. What happened now? There was a little kid um, saying hope. Um, um, a little what? A little kid um, next door saying help. Um, my mom, my mommy got that. Mommy got help. Somebody help me. Were they outside, inside? Um, the kid was outside. The, the kid was outside? How old was the kid? He was, he was like five. Okay. Is, did they bring him back inside or? Um, uh, a person a came. A person came. In there. Is that back in? Is that it? What's wrong? I want my mommy and she went to the store and I want to see my mommy. Hello. She got a new my daddy. Police department. Mommy. She got a new Hello. She went to the store. Police department. Where'd they go? What store did they go to? Apple Street. The what? Apple. The Apple Store? It, it's close to my house. Yeah, it's right down the street. How long have they been gone? Well, Keith Foster, South Jackson. Yeah, that's the one. 301 and the Where's he at? Foster's dad? Yeah, I've seen him. 301 and the did your mom and dad both go to the store together? No, my dad's at my papa's house. Your dad's at your papa's house? Do you know the phone number there? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Where's the phone? You have a phone in here? No. No? I, I saw your phone, but it's dead. Okay. So your mom left you and went to the Big Apple store? 
How long has she been gone? You don't know? How old are you? Five. Five. What's your name? People been breaking into our house, but... People been breaking into your house? Yeah. And they messing up our house. Yelling for you. On the neighbors call. No, 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 no. Where's Grandma live? Right across the street. Why aren't you taking with you? I just went over there real quick. Do you have an ID? Yes, sir. Um, What's across the street? Literally across the street. Right here. Can you come over here real quick? This guy, babe. Can you come over here real quick? I can't find my freaking one. I need my ID. The police is here. Good. What was the race yes. gender? I can't find my ID. Sorry. I'll get your info. Copy. Look, how old are you? 21. You don't know your social? No, sir. Listen, I... I gotta keep it. You gotta get off the phone. I'm sorry. You gotta get off I'm the sorry. phone. sorry. Alright, well, he said I gotta get off the phone. He, oh, yeah. Her. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. All right. Your grandma? Yes, sir. She was over with you. Um, yeah, for but a yeah, for a second. She only came over here for a second. Where do you live at? I'm, I live on the south side. I don't even live on the east side. I'm out here visiting some friends. So where were you at? At her, at her friend's house, real quick. Where's a friend live? Right across the street. I don't know. Right, right out back. Yeah, literally. Well, we're trying to figure all this out. Cause we, got, we... we got a five-year-old kid left home alone. Oh, well, it was only for a couple seconds. Well, well we don't know that. That's what we're just, oh, we're just trying to figure yeah, out. That's all, all it takes. I'm sorry. I mean, we, we, I understand what you're saying. What happens if you'd have walked out? I understand. Listen. I understand. I, understand. I, I told him all this. I said, I'll be right back. He literally plays the game all day. He was in there playing the game. I said, I'll be right back. I'm about to go over there to your real, real quick. That was it. So do you think this is serious no, or not no. serious? It's, it's serious. It's serious. It's very serious. It's very serious. It's very just, serious. Just, just I said, you never thought do you think you should leave a five-year-old no, home alone? No. But it, then why'd you do it? It was for a second. I didn't think it was. Not only is it for a second, second, then you come back in and you're smelling like weed. So you leave your five-year-old home alone so you can go smoke weed. And then you come back, and then you yell at him. I didn't yell at him. Yeah, you did. I said, what'd you do, or whatever. Anyways, I could run the tape back. It doesn't matter. The point is, is he's crying with the door open. He was wandering crying around, around, Wandering around out here. Where, come here. Wandering around out here, wondering he was, he was where crying. you're at. He was Why would you scare So... You see your only child? What happened? I mean, come on. Leaving a five year old home alone. Right? And what happened? You got the scale on the table, the five year old sitting next to your papers. What'd you say? Your shoe back up smelling like weed. There's roaches. I mean, come on. And now you're telling me you don't know your social. Do you have a warrant? No, sir. Tell me now. We're going to run you in a cold picture. Say that again. You shouldn't? No, sir. Mm -hmm. I asked you if you want to come with me. You said no, you want to stand for the game. So why did you put two of them? Yeah, man, like what? What you got going on? You was playing a game. I asked you if you want to come. You said no. I said I'll be right back. I said yes. <laughs> and I will teach you a trick. There's a small mechanism on the key which hides the mechanical key, and we can take it out with a light swipe. Is that YouTube? Yeah. 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 My, right, kid. Oh, my, my kids be watching that dumb shit too. All the time. That's all I heard. That's crazy. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. YouTube. I don't let them watch it at my house because some of the stuff that. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's annoying. Like, it's yeah. Annoying. Like, one day I woke up. Yep. Mm -mm. One day I woke up and, and it was like three o'clock in the morning. And I heard, and they all oh, they didn't fell asleep, but it's still on YouTube. Or they was watching some lady 
Sometimes he's like eating some chips or eating eating pickles Girl, and stuff. But all you hear is the crunching noise, yeah. and it drove me crazy. And I'm like, oh yeah, y'all. Mm -mm. <laughs> and then some of the stuff that they've watching just ain't even important. No, turn that yeah, off. No. You can't watch YouTube. You gotta put on Disney or something. Buy something on Netflix. Yeah, that's horrible. That YouTube is horrible. Oh, yeah, Especially like the YouTube. stuff the kids watch. Right. 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 Some of the songs he sings though, I can't stand. Like he, oh, I love like he, like, like he. Now that you listen to it after this, afterwards, after like, that, you no, like, like, like some, like some, like some of his songs are cool, but then, then he'll be like, this is a dumb. Ass. Like, I went put my shoes on, walked to the door. Oh, come on. What, what, what the hell are you singing about, man? What are you singing about, bro? I can't stand like I like normal his normal song. He was telling a story. Yeah, but I didn't tell the damn writer book. I want to hear that damn song. It don't even sound right. You know what I mean? I was cracking up listening to that though. He said, "I put my shoes on." My alarm clock went off. I hit snooze. Hey, come on, bro. I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> yes. It's crazy. But, yeah, not, but that's how this new song is. Oh, like, man, so I ain't gonna listen to it then. It's 20 minutes long, though. Yeah, like, no I'm way. Pregnant, but it basically just told, like, how they played them. Now, like, him, one, him and, uh, what's his name, Mr. Big, man. They, them cats had, like, yeah, an hour-long yeah. song about that. Yeah. Kind. But I do know, R. Kelly's a musical genius, though. Yeah. He, it really oh, is. Yeah. And they really played him because they know the man is dyslexic, can't read. You know what I'm saying? They had him sign and all kind of paperwork. He don't even know what he's signing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That was wrong. Like, he admitted he did what he did. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But y'all didn't have to do it like that. Come on, did y'all do Elvis like that when he married that 14 year old girl? Right. What about Tony, Tony, Tony? They, hey, they made a whole song about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. Y'all wasn't after all. Yeah. Michael Jackson, anybody else that got accused for anything? Right, right. Y'all didn't do them as bad as you did right. R. Kelly. Hello. Are you Keith Sr.? Yeah. Here's the deal, all right? You're going to get a ticket for major children, okay? I am not going to what we call is in rule six, where we remove the child from the home, okay? Since Keith Sr., the father, is here, he can take the kid, all right? You're going to get a ticket. Julian is here breaking out windows, right? Which is why I didn't remember yourself. He arrived in a red key. Right? I asked you that when you told me you didn't remember. Said you have warrants. So we're going to find out right now. No, yes. Send you to appeal out of the city. Yeah, Okay, so KPS. Can you fax those over? What is that? So you don't have a state or something local. So well, I was going to write it out. No, um, I don't even know. Yeah, no. so I gotta go. You got to go to court. So I was just going to write you a ticket and let you stay here and remove the child from home to the car. But you have to get it. Okay. You got you to gotta stand on up. She have shoes. Can you grab her some shoes? Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, well, you got your things on. So I don't know what's good enough. There. So... You understand what's going on, right? Yes, but I can't help you, Lawrence. She'll be all right. Yeah, she'll probably get that laugh tomorrow morning. That ain't gonna turn on. At least it's not right Friday. Now for stuff like this, anyway, because of everything else that's going on. Right? Hmm. They should go to court tomorrow, right? Yeah, they'll probably ring her. They video ring her. What's this tomorrow? Okay. Wednesday. Wednesday. I think they do Wednesday. Wednesday. I think they do red videos. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You gotta hang the phone up. We're gonna handcuff you. Don't make it worse Hello? than it has to be. Okay. Stop. Call you alone. You hear me? Alright. So ultimately, Karen was not only arrested for child endangerment, 
she actually had an outstanding warrant. That's why she couldn't remember her social security number. She knew it, but she didn't want to tell the police officers because she had failed to appear in court over two years ago for a DUI charge where she blew 0.17. So the first thing that you're going to notice in this one is that this Taco Bell worker has some anger issues that he needs to work through because first he physically assaults a child, which is caught on camera, and then he physically <laughs> assaults a brick wall, which was also, fortunately for us, caught on camera, and I'm pretty sure that the brick wall won, and his hand is broken. Dude, you can't go back there like that. It wasn't me. I don't care. You got my face. What? What did I do? Are you kidding? Bro, you just assaulted him, dog. Are you kidding? But you do. You cannot go back there like that. My you friend was back, back there. Dude. Bro, you chill out, bro. You cannot go back there like that. No, you just assaulted him. I don't give a f***. Go back there like that. Get out of here, you know? Call the cops. I'll call them. I know them. What? You're a crazy person. What did I do? Dude, stop saying that. What, what do you, do you get out of that? What do you get out of that? Hey, never mind, never mind. Chill. What do you get out of that? Chill. Yeah. You have nothing else. You have no personality. You've got to piss off. Chill. That's all you got. I said chill. Tell me to chill you. While okay. standing in line at the airport, Karen overhears a conversation that she doesn't like. Rather than simply ignoring the conversation or simply walking away like a normal person, Karen instead tries to impose her will on the people having the conversation, but Karen gets hers in the end. You said that 27 times, and I've told you every 27 times, I didn't ask you for a seat, ma'am. I'm just telling you there's seats over there. Who asked you for a seat? You don't work here? No, I'm just telling you there's seats over there. You're having a conversation. There are and I'm going to have a conversation standing right here. This is a lie. And what? This is a lie. I'm in line. You're not stupid. You look. There are seats over it's there. It's people having conversations there everywhere. There are seats over there. So you see me and him having a conversation. There are seats over there. I don't care. Ma'am, I'm just telling you, there's seats over well, there. Sit your in the seat, I'm in line. This is the line. Well, mind your business. She's in line. She's in line. He's in line. They're having a conversation. They're, they're having a conversation. They're, just, they're having they're a conversation. Just, You're not stupid. You look. Find you something to do, ma'am. Over there. Ma sit your in the seat, man. I'm in line. I don't I'm in line. Am I talking to you? I'm talking to him. Am I talking to you? I'm in line. Well, stand in line, ma'am. I am in line. Just in case. I put this my bed. This is the line. And am I in your way? I'm in line. Look at the line. Am I in your way? Am I in your way, ma'am? I'm just telling you that there are seats Am I in your there? way? I'm telling you there's seats I over there. I put my bags down on purpose. I'm telling you because that there's I seats promise over there. you. And I put that on you. I'm Leave me you and him alone. Well sit in the seat, ma'am. There's seats over there. Well sit in the seat, ma'am. There's seats over there. Sit in the there's seat, seat ma'am. There's a seat there. There's a seat there. There's a seat there. It's amazing. There's a seat there. It's amazing how our conversation out of everybody else that is in Everybody else is in the, here having a conversation. It's only bothering you. There are it's seats only, over there. It's only bothering there are seats you. <laughs> there are seats over there. There are seats over there. There are seats there. You don't work there. But you don't work here, ma'am. If she sits what's here, what's the difference? Them? There's a seat there. Hold on, hold on. My question to you is, my question to you is, if she sits here, what does the what what change does this happen to the conversation? There's a seat there. There's a seat there. 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 Well, why aren't you sitting in any of these I'm seats? In I already told you I'm in line. And I told you I'm standing here talking, waiting to get on the same plane you getting on. So what's and your I'm problem? I'm telling you, this is the line, and I'm and I'm not in. Seat. I'm not in your way. They're lined up. What does that have to do with you? This is, this is the what the, line. What does that have to do with you? This is the line. I'm in line. This is I the line. I already told you. This is the line. I'm not moving one damn step, and I bet you can't move this. And I bet you can't move this 200 pounds. Move me. Move me. Just, there's just a seat there. Just continue. Yes, okay. yes. No, What's actually, wrong? we had to move from gate four right. to gate so, six. six. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I asked him. He's in the military. He's telling me about the army because my daughter is thinking about going to military. She keeps screaming. We need to sit down. I'm 45. I didn't ask her 
anything, ma'am. <laughs> but I'm not okay, in your way. They're not in your way. And he hasn't started boarding yet. Oh, I just so you can just seat there. There's but they don't have to. They don't have to. Take care. She wants to argue with the employee. Let her argue with the employee. Tell her. One thing you can um, one thing you can do to uh, okay. uh, you know, one thing you can do is to possibly obviously she doesn't have a degree now, but if she goes and talks to the Marines, if she's if she's highly set on the Marines, I would tell her to look into asking the uh, recruiters and the how she could become an officer. Yeah. Um, if it's possible to go to any of the uh, any of the the officer officer schools, um, because that is if she especially if she's smart, she'll make a lot more money that way. Um, and then she won't she won't have to deal with too much of the she won't have to deal with too much stress from the the enlisted side of it. There won't be any there won't be any drill sergeant issues. Like talking and nobody's talking to her. And she just picked us out out of the group and was like, sit here, sit here. And I'm like, I'm 45. You can't tell right. me I want you to sit here. I'm like <laughs> Hold on, lady. Like, no. no, no okay. No, no. All right. Well, I'm sorry that happened. <laughs> yeah, it happens. The world is the world. It happens. What are you going to do? Well, most people aren't like that. No, so no. That's a good thing, yes. right? <laughs> All right. Well, have a good flight. You too. <laughs> don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Please. I don't want to bite you. Don't hurt me. Officers responded to a case of domestic battery. Upon arriving at the scene, they observed a couple engaged in an argument. They immediately separated the two and commenced their investigation. Okay, stop. Stay back work? there. Stop. Why are you yelling stop. at me? Stop. Go back there like I just said. Why are you yelling at me? Go stop. back there now. I'll stop back. I ain't going in. I'm going to listen. Come back here. Man. What's the problem today? I'm wouldn't take me to the damn store before he went to work. I've been asking this bitch forever to take me to the store. That's it. She wants me to take her to Walgreens to get a glucose monitor. I said you have to have a prescription for that. Turn this way so she can't hear. I'm sorry. Um, now it's upside down, but. So what just happened is that the husband handed his phone over to the officer and what he's doing is showing the officer a video that he took of his wife's erratic behavior earlier that morning and that's actually the behavior that prompted him to call the police. I'm coming for you. I want all of you for up my life with our children. I'm going to have your head on a platter in my mind. That's the vengeance God I want for not standing in my house that I took care of on my deathbed. Make sure y'all put your pair of pants on and I'm with you. Then you can just take the one off. Get out this Yeah, this is the sh he wants. He'd rather the object. Stop. Oh, wait, stop. What? Stop. Ah, get away from me. I'll your face Don't up, touch the car. Good. Good thing you backed away from me. I didn't back away from you. Yes, you did. You want me to your face up? Step to me again. Leave the car alone. Step Leave to Tori's me. car alone. Leave the house alone. Quit destroying Climbed everything. Up on top of the car again. Um, beat the car. So this is, that's the hood. She just did all this just now. The hood. Um, kick the side of it. Up on the roof dents all over the back of it. So what happened exactly? You asked him to take you to the store, he doesn't want to? And we said he would. He okay. said what I want from there. Then he told me I couldn't get the from there. Told him I didn't need him to tell him, but the store can tell my I'm sorry. Did she make any comments about self harm or anything like that? No, she said she wanted to kill me. She said she wanted to, she's, yeah, one uh, is going to. Uh, what'd she say? I'm gonna have your head on a platter. So putting someone's head on a platter requires decapitation, which of course would result in loss of life. And the fact that the husband has this on video 
does not bode well for the wife. You guys get in has issues. I need VA help. He won't go down to get assessment. He's just constantly is badgering me in any other way that he can. Did you guys get into any kind of physical altercation today? Um, as long as he don't step to me, it's cool. Do what? I hit the car. As long as he doesn't step to me, it's fine. When he comes at me, then he comes at me. I don't want that phone in my face recording me. He's been showing my kids different recordings. And I know that because then when I see them, they're doing the I've been doing. Making the faces I was making. I'm not a complete dumb a Sorry, no one cursing you. I'm not a complete dumb person, okay? I got mental issues, but it's because my brain, I just can't put. And then the phone works, and then it don't, doesn't work, and then I can't get them to call me back. So now the officers are going to question the husband some more and ask him if he's in fear for his life because she made a threat to him and they're wondering, will she act on that threat? Do you think she'll act on that threat? Which he does. So now the officers are about to take action. At night, I'm afraid for my life. Yeah. Um, I spend the whole time in the basement. So that's at this point, that's why I'm going to add myself to the protective order. Okay. That way I can stay here. So you were in the car and she was beating the car, you said? No, I wanted to get in the car. Uh, she was on the car. Can you look up my court date? Can you call for me? Because he doesn't do anything. Can you just tell just me my court date? Just hang tight for a minute. Thank you. I'm sure he probably knows what no, you're doing. No, don't tell me that. Don't tell me he knows anything. Okay. Thank you. So, did it get physical today? I don't remember. You don't remember? Yeah, kind of did because then he comes at me and I'm going to face up if he comes at me. So at this point, while talking to the officers, the wife starts acting really strange. It kind of did. Can you explain? Because I hit the car and then he came at me and then I tried to get the phone out of my face because I can't have someone badgering me trying to record me all the damn time. A wife can't have a relationship when you just watch the damn Do you know stuff. why? I don't need nothing. I'm going to take the locks off the door. I'm afraid of him. I'm afraid of him and I don't like him. When I got home from the hospital, he put his hands in here on me to get me. Then he walked away and said, I'm calling the cops to get a protection order on you. I said, you just put your hands in here on me. You damn dumb. So oftentimes in domestic violence situations, the perpetrators are still really aggressive, even though the police are present. And that's exactly what's happening here with the wife. If he comes at me, I'm going to smack you out of the way. It, we've separated real quick. So it was cool. But he can't do anything. If I want to hit this car in my driveway and he won't give me a damn key to. Did he make any threats to you? Not that I remember or know of. I'll hit you if you don't get out of my way or get away from me. Yeah, he's been living in the basement for six months. You see it, right? What does it have to do with the... He comes in and out. He's living in the basement. This is not good. I want a protection order to keep him out of my home, sir. I want a lawyer. I want to sue him for mental, physical, and emotional abuse. I want to file Just a Just calm court. down, please. So at this point, the officers have seen enough and they're ready to arrest the wife. But they're just going to get one last statement from the husband. So other than that, show me the video of where you're recording inside the garage. Mm -hmm. And what were her words again? That she's going to have my head on a platter or something along those lines. What did, what did you interpret that as? Uh, well, I think she wants to try to kill me, honestly. Okay. I got an ex that came in and got my kids and then everything just went whatever, haywire, which is fine. But he wouldn't let me have any communication. He tells me my kids don't want nothing to do with me. He's ran his mouth to my kids while I'm a surviving woman after surgery. He didn't help bring me up. He didn't even hardly bring me food in the room when I was on my deathbed. This man right here is disgusting. I don't even want him in my house. By her making that threat, that is something that she could potentially act I think it's on. something that she could do in the future. As many times as she said it, if given the opportunity, if given the opportunity, I think she would. All right, Minnie. So yes, go ahead, sir. turn around, put your hands on the car for me, okay? No, why? Put the hands on the car. Tell me why. You're under arrest for domestic violence. Turn around. For what? No. Turn around. Ah! Turn around. Put your hands around. behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Ow! Put your hands behind your back now. Don't hurt me, please. Don't hurt me. Please, I don't want to bite you. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I knew you were gonna take me. Don't hurt me. You're hurting me. You're hurting me. You're hurting me, sir. Ow! Ah! Ah! 
try to put me. No, I'm not. You liar. Now you're getting more charges. No, I'm not. I know. One Resisting arrest. God bless you, sir. I love you. What are you doing? Eat your gut. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Am I hurting? Spit the grass out. Why? I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to put the guy out. I don't want to put the guy out. Do you have anything on you? No. I don't want to put the guy out. Spit the grass out. No, I don't want to put the guy out. I ate my man. Spit the grass out. Why? Because it's disgusting. You hurt my elbow. We don't need it in the car. I don't want to be there with you. Spit the grass no. out. No. Spit the grass out. Take it out. Spit the grass out, man. Uh, take it out. Spit the grass uh, out. Take it out. I won't bite you. Thanks. You want to get more Sounds charges? Like a good promise. No, I don't. Spit the grass out. Let's go. I hate my husband. Please help me. Spit the grass out. Come on. Let's go. Spit it out. No. I hate my husband. Help me. Do you want to leave it in your mouth? I want to leave it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. No, I want okay. you to take it out. That's it. <laughs> you gonna spit it out or what? You gonna spit it out? I want you to take it out for me. Let's act like an adult and spit it out. No, you okay. don't treat me like an adult. All right, sit back. Sit back. Get in the car. I don't know what you want from me. Sit back. No, I don't know what you want from me. I don't know what you want from me. I don't know what you want from me. This is my home. I need help. I need help. We've tried to get you that. You Can you get this out of my mouth? No. Help, no, help me. Out. I need help. Ow. have anything anyway so at this point the husband tells the officers that his mother-in-law actually took his kids and she wouldn't let him see the kids not only that she wants to take him to court for custody of the children which the officers seem to be concerned with and then i haven't seen him since then and you have full custody i've got remember? custody yeah they were staying with her so i could take care of mindy I'm no longer able to take care of Mandy because of the way she is. Um, she said she's going to take me to court for the kids, and I'm not allowed to see the kids until we go to court. Do you mind calling her so I can talk to her? Uh, if she'll answer. I don't want either of you seeing the kid until court. They're trying to get comfortable, blah, blah, blah. And then I said, you know, we have to figure out school because I've, now I've got their physicals. Now they can start. She said, not going to happen. Take me to court. So the officer actually did call the mother-in-law and during the call, she over and over again mentioned that she has custody of the children and that there's a court order. He's abusive. And not only that, and he hides everything and then he deletes all of the, all the footage that, and we have video. Yes, my daughter has an opioid addiction and it's because of him. He's from a family, uh, his mother and father were both psychiatric nurses and I have his kids, I have their kids because he would not do anything about this. All he could do was allow these children to be tortured by all this domestic violence and I, I have a five-year-old and a seven-year-old on my hands right now that are mentally stressed over all of this. All right, we're going to go through these doors when he's pulling on right there once we go in, go in to the right. Thank you. I don't have my pen on me, do I, or nothing? I'm sorry, you guys. He doesn't want on us on his property, and Mindy, they took Mindy to jail for domestic violence. Of course, he, that, he, she played right into his hands because she's an addict. 
she's on, he's got her on opioids and had her on opioids and we didn't even know about it for like, he didn't even tell us until like a year and a half ago. He hit her addiction so he can control her because she wants a divorce from him and he was not going to let her go. Wait, wait, is it in my shirt? I don't know, we'll see. We'll let them check in. No, it's right here. Thank you. No, we'll let them check okay. in. I'm not going to. All right, I just don't want to take them Okay. So the mother-in-law has made some serious allegations to this point, but now she's going to say some things that sound paranoid. And I'll tell you something else, too. I know he's got an insurance policy on her, too. He's waiting for her to, her to die. She probably weighs 85 pounds. And I just had her at Claremont County, Greater Cincinnati uh, Behavior Center, Behavior Center the one, just the other day. One. And I think she weighed 85 pounds with her clothes on. Okay, good right here. Stay fishing that one. I sought a lot of help and we've tried to help as much as we can. We've you know brought what? resources to her. We've offered to take her to resources we've and she has not been cooperative. No, she hasn't. I've been here myself. This is probably the fourth time. So our office has probably been here 20 times. At this point, the mother-in-law makes a really strange claim about something that she thinks that the husband has chained up in the woods. He don't want us on his property because he's got a little black box in the woods that he keeps on a leash and he pulls it out at night all the freaking time because he's drugging her with something. Okay, both his nurses, both of his parents are nurses, psychiatric nurses. He's not a stupid man. He's been in the Air Force. He knows what he's doing. He's manipulating the system so that he can destroy her. So at this point, the mother and the sister-in-law show the officer a video which they think depicts the husband hurting the wife. I mean, that's not going to be enough he stands for in us front, to... He stands in front of the window and he plows her right it's in the face. Her first, the first initial hit is the, the main one. The good thing about this, I understand that you don't want her to be arrested, but not that. it doesn't if mean that she's going to necessarily be convicted of domestic violence. But here's the thing. If she does get convicted of a crime, they will take into consideration what he says is the victim. And if you guys go there, they may let you speak as well. And you can express your concerns potentially. I can't guarantee anything because you guys weren't directly involved in this. They could potentially, the judge could potentially order her to be evaluated for drug and mental health. They don't need to be around each other. I completely agree with this. They need, but they don't need to be around each other whatsoever. Then Ed and Mindy at all. As soon as he, he, as soon as he did happening. that, he took her phone so she couldn't call my mom. So he said, if you would like to keep the children. I'm not his baby. For right now. Joke. Yeah, for right now. All so he's done is use me. Him. So he's taken off and mocked off in the house and run away that? for three three days to screw some girl somewhere. I mean, I mean you guys don't see all of this. I mean, well, I don't, on. I don't know everything that happens in their house 24 seven. So. so later in jail, while the officer was reading the court's order to the wife, she started acting really strange. Can you re reread that? Yeah, I want to know what my charges are that he's bringing against me, sir. Okay, I'm going to read them. You just got to listen, okay? Yeah, hey, I'm trying. All right. Mr. Lawton stated he's afraid that Miss Lawton will act upon this comment. Get the out of my house. Hey. Given their history. Get the out of my house. No surprise, the wife was ultimately charged with domestic violence and resisting arrest. While driving down the road, Karen gets upset with the driver directly behind her and uses her car to create a blockade so that she can get out and yell at the driver. What she does looks very dangerous. In this one, Karen goes to a restaurant and when they tell her that she is at risk of not getting any hot sauce with her order simply because they ran out, Karen has a full-on meltdown, which you are about to witness. Get some fucking hot sauce with my food. 
And I will never be here again. Okay. Well, my baby's in here. Just, just sleep, just sleep on. No, I'm about to sleep on. Just okay, just, just, just sleep on. <laughs> so is that all that you're watching, y'all? God? That's all that you're watching. God damn! What kind of business are you running here? Okay, thank you, thank you. Cheap? There's no need for racism in this restaurant, ma'am. I am the racist motherfucker who ever fucking you know, lost. And I've got, got Japanese all, all over me. I've got a Nigerian flag on me. I don't give a f. I'm getting you my food. Off, but there's no reason to be racist. After giving this drink, after giving your mother, they don't leave the food. You die down right now, Will, and I will never eat here. I hope at least I'm like one of the cuter people that you've had in your cop car. <laughs> After drinking for the past five hours, Karen decided to get into her vehicle and drive, which resulted in her running into and knocking over a traffic light post on her way out of the parking lot. As a result, the police were called, which is where we pick up. She's drunk. Drunk? I already called Sam Dorado's okay. my husband. Okay. But she's drunk, and she already said that I don't want to get a DWI okay, okay. in a single car. Okay. Thank you. Was she in on the, in the wrong no, way? No, no. She was on that see, side. See, I was coming this way right, right before the curve, and she blowed around me. I mean, blowed around me, blowed around another car, couldn't make the curve, jumped the, the curve. See her, her track yeah. right there? Hit the curve, and then smack this. All so right. I don't know what the deal was. All right, thank you. Let me, I'm going to get your information in a minute. That's Luckily, okay. the, what, the stoplight had everybody stopped. Okay, ma'am. So I'm just going to ask you a few questions, okay? Are you able to stand up? Okay. You can put your key on top of your car. I don't know they said that. Need. Yes. So they said you're, you're not having anything medical. No, sir. That would pr no, sir. Okay. Now, just based on this driving behavior and what people have been saying when we came on scene, um, would you be willing to take some standardized field sobriety tests? Absolutely. Yes? I'm going to have you sign my refusal so there's no medical emergency Please. for transport. Thank you. So I'm going to have him get some information from Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Where do you work at? I'm talking to you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm a waitress there. Okay, I see. Yes. And that's he's already gonna, disappointing. Gonna, They're like, you work at a bar. Get some yeah, boom. Okay. Yes. You're just going to get like your birthday. Absolutely. Thank your you. address and we have your Hi. Uh, you're not hurt or anything like that, right? No. Just your feelings, huh? I guess so. Okay. Do you have your driver's license? Uh, yes, sir, absolutely. Perfect. Okay. Would you like to have it? Yeah. Yes. Hey, uh, answer me this question, okay? Yes, sir. So I've been doing this a long time. I've been doing this for 21 years. Yes, sir. And, and this will be honestly will take you a long way, okay? And, and I kind of have an idea. I already know the answer to the question. Hold on a sec, sir. Okay? Go ahead and sit back over yeah, there. Hi, everybody. Hey, we're doing an investigation right now, okay? And, uh, uh, I was just with her, so I just want to know what, what you're asking her. I'm not. Well, it's you know, her. She's you know, an, ask her something. Is she an adult? She's an adult. Okay. okay. So, are you an attorney? No. I'm just, okay. Well, let's take her vehicle. We'll be with you in just a minute, okay? How much have you had to drink today? Not very much. Okay. What is not very much? Like the legal limit. Okay, which is what? Like, very, not very much because I ate and I drank okay. waters between the cool. two. Tito's. Oh, okay. And so vodka? Yes. Okay, cool. Thank you for telling me being honest. Yes, but Tito's. I was there for like five hours, so... Where, where at? At Vita's. Oh, okay. Uh, so I... a while. Oh, okay. All right. Yes. Cool. All right. I appreciate your honesty. This gentleman here, this officer is going to do conduct a further investigation, okay? 
Um, and he's going to ask you some questions. Okay. All right, just be cooperative with him, and, yes, and we'll sir. go our way. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank I you very your much. Job. Thank thank, you. All right. Thank you very much. All right. We're going to go over I'm here sorry, in front of my unit, okay? Just because it has a camera. So you we want can... another unit? We've got, We've got a couple of bad people that are in our investigation. She's my little sister. Uh, 47. Okay. I just wanted to make sure she's I can talk to you. Uh, that way. Yeah, she's my, she's my little sister. Okay. I, just I can want... talk to you, okay. but I don't just appreciate wait one second. this gentleman here. I suggest he okay. leave before yeah. he goes to jail. It's okay. Ruben, I got okay. you. Okay. I'll take care of it. I'll continue in a few minutes, okay? Ruben. And I hope you're not driving, okay? Driving? I'm driving. Okay. Have a, have a great day, man. Thank you for being concerned. No, you know what? I'm not leaving, man. You can go call where the f*** you want. We're good. It's fine. I got, I'll take care of it, okay? Hi, I'm Stephanie okay? Amijo. I'm really sorry about that. No I'm problem. Stephanie. I'm her older sister uh, related to the family. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. So, before we begin these tests, you don't have any medical conditions. I know we've asked no, you that. Sir. Do you wear contacts, glasses? No, sir. No, okay. None. All right. Well, while we do this, can you just set everything you got right here on my hood for me? Yes. Do you mind if, like, my purse and everything? Yeah, you just got to set Are it down. Sure? Yeah, because you're going to have to walk and stuff. Yes, sir. Okay, ma'am. So for this first test, I want you to follow the tip of my finger and just the tip of my finger. Don't move your head, okay? And before we begin, I want you to stand heel to heel, toe to toe, arms at your sides, okay? Now, it's important that you remain in this position until instructed to do otherwise. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, and then like I said, I want you to follow the tip of my finger and the tip of my finger only. Just using your eyes and your eyes alone. You understand? Okay. Do you mind? Can you like put your hair back for me? A little bit. Right. And you're not going to get penalized for that because I told you to move. So go ahead and stay in this position, okay? Careful. No, sir. All the way to nine. Straight. Am I correct? Nine steps. All the way straight. Yes, ma'am. You may begin the test. Okay. Are you, are, you, are you done with the test? Huh? You said only nine. Okay. All right. We'll stop there then on that one. All right. So for this last test, I want you to stand back over here where we started. Yes, sir. So what I want you to do is pick either foot. It could be your left foot, your right foot. Okay. I want you to pick that foot up approximately six inches off the ground, keeping that foot parallel to the ground. How in hell, respectfully, am I going to go six inches? Okay. And now while you look, at the tip of your toe, count out loud like so. Thousand one. 2002, 2003, so on and uh, so forth until instructed to stop. Do you understand? Sure. Maybe yelling at him. One, two, one thousand three. Ten four, thank you. All right, ma'am, go ahead and put your hands behind your back for me, okay? You're being placed under arrest for DUI. Uh, okay. All right, I'm going to have to pat you down before I put you in my unit, okay? You don't have anything on you that's going to poke me, stick me, stab me? Sure, absolutely. Let me check your mouth. Do you have anything? 29, the mouth subject has left. You're going to be wearing a navy blue jacket, okay. hoodie, and blue shirt, a trespass. Can you my camera for me? All right, go ahead and separate your feet. Copy. Are you still requesting contact? Uh, All right, let's go ahead and have a seat right back here, okay? Yes, sir. 10-4, your 10-15 time is 1755. So sorry. Okay, ma'am. So I have to read something to you, okay? You're under arrest for DWI. The New Mexico Implied Consent Act requires you to submit a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. Do you take the, agree to take our test? Six one. Six on call. No, sir. No. Okay. No, sir. All right. I have to read you some more then, okay? Yes, sir. Good so I cannot force you to take our test, but if you refuse, you will lose your New Mexico driver's license or non-resident operating privilege for one year. Then. If you're convicted in court of driving while under the influence, you may receive a greater sentence because you refuse to be tested. Okay. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay.
did the contents of my purse possibly go to my sister? Well, you have a bunch of stuff in there. A bunch of cash and everything. Do you want everything to go or what? Yeah, I want them to at least go to my sister. Please. If possible. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. God. I'm sorry. You don't, you don't need to apologize. You know, I'm doing my job. That's all. I know. And I respect that. I respect your job. I'm just sorry to, like, cause and, like, problems, you know? Have you ever been arrested for a DWI before? No, sir. I've never been arrested, period, so. God. Like, I just feel so embarrassed. <sighs> but I'm sorry, sir. I'm just sorry you have to deal with people like me. I never thought it would be me, like, in this predicament, but that's what all of everybody says. It's like, you never think it's you. Charles, that is he showing a BTW for that roadrunner? It's okay. All right, let me uh, take those cuffs off you. I'm so sorry. Here. Now, I still got to get you up. I'm going to run the machine. And if you still don't want to introduce a sample, just don't blow into it, and we'll let it run through its cycle, okay? Yes, okay? I recognize you from somewhere. From where? Maybe another kind of bar. Maybe That's yeah, probably you work at the O or whatever it's called. Yes, I do. So sorry. You know my brother then? Who's your brother? Matt Thompson. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. When you get stopped for a DWI... And you don't blow, it's an automatic, aggravated. All right, it's automatic. No pass go. Yeah, you get an aggravated DWI. That means that you blew up. You know, an aggravated, if you blow, it's a .16. You know, if you blow the machine and you get a .16, that means you're double the limit, and that would be aggravated. Okay, when you don't blow, you automatically get the .1, that crime. Okay, I'm getting prepared. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't need I hope I haven't been, been disrespectful. No, I hope I haven't been disrespectful to your job. <sighs> I don't know. How much do you make on a normal night? Uh, like six to eight hundred. One night. Yeah. <laughs> It's ready for you again, man. It's the same thing as you did last time, okay? Okay, yes, sir. Oh my oh. god, I'm sorry. No, I tripped you. No, I tripped myself. Please. I'm sorry. I tripped over. I tripped over you. Do you mind if I ask you like a few questions, sir? No, you go ahead. What do you What do you have? Uh, my sister's asking like, um, like how do you say it? Yeah, like how? Like, how like, More than likely, you'll be out tomorrow. He, he says like uh, that I'll be out tomorrow probably. It's over. It's done with. You know what I mean? Yeah. We can't do anything about it now. Just. It just is what it is. Bunch of cash. So I'm going to count it out in front of you, okay? Are you sure? Yeah, that way we don't have any discrepancies. Your driving privileges will be revoked in 20 days, okay? Okay. So you may request a hearing on this revocation. The request must be made in writing within 10 days. Long story short, this is going to count as your license. You're going to, I mean, you're still going to have your license, obviously, but if you get pulled over within the next 20 days, uh, you got to show them this, too. Okay. Okay, then I'll give Thank you a copy you. of it. Yes, sir. You want to just sign this for me here? Yes. So, do I need to, like, do anything, like, for that? Or you're just saying, if I get pulled over in the next 20 days, then... Right. So, if you get pulled over in the next 20 days, this will be your license. God, I hope not. Yeah. yeah. You hope not. Yeah, right. But then, like I said, I'm going to give you this, and then tomorrow, whenever you're out, you can just read over it. Okay. You can request a hearing and get the license back or whatever you need to do. But okay. my license is gone? Uh, in 20 days, it'll be no good. In 20 days? Mm-hmm. Unless, oh, well, I mean... And then for how long after that? Do I you mean, mind me asking? So I'm sorry. I'm not typically how it works, I don't know how, it, how it's going to unfold. 
particularly for you, but um, how how this process goes normally is right. So you you'll you won't have a license without an interlock. They'll make you put an interlock in the vehicle. And if you put an interlock in the vehicle, then you'll have a valid license. Does that make okay, sense? Okay, but how long do I have to have an interlock? Oh, that all depends. That's between the okay. courts. I'm so. sorry to ask you that. So, no, like, no, no. I need to get an interlock within how many days? Like, uh, where do I go for that? So the judge stuff? will explain all this stuff to you. So it's in paperwork. Yeah, it'll it'll be all in writing and, and directions and things Swear. like that. Because, yeah. like, I need things in paperwork, and then I know what to do. Right, right. No, okay. yeah, it'll, it'll definitely be explained to you. My thing is I'm just going to arrest you on the DWI, right? And then you'll see a judge tomorrow, and then she'll get you going, or he, whoever you see, will get you going on the process, okay? Tomorrow. Yes. And they'll give you all the other information you need. I know it's stressful, but they're going to... It is stressful. Oh, God. They're going to walk you through it, okay? It, it's not going to... They're not. You're not going to be left in the dark on anything. Jeez. I'm not good at math. You're going to make me, me work. Me, as a server, I just like... I don't know. Yeah, like yeah. last week, my, my sister got mad at me last week because we played like a game for Christmas, you know? Yeah. Like New Year's, and she was like, why do you have two grand in cash in your f***ing purse? And she came at me, and I'm like, I'm sorry, like it's just like my job, and I don't even think about it. Alright, so I'm going to count this in front of you. I remember you, you would come up to the Ocotillo with your face mask, and I'd be like, that kind of so fine. Yeah. And then, like, respectfully, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Obviously, because, like, I'm a mess right now. But I'd be like, that kind of so fine. you come up with, like, two other officers, and you would come up to the, oh, like, we're looking, like, the last time I saw you, were like, we're looking for this man, and then you would list out the description, and I was like, no, sir, I'm sorry, like, I'm going to check the, uh, the patio, and then I'll be like, go inside, and I'll come back out, and I'm like, I can't find him, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you probably no, no, I remember that. I was, I was yeah. cuter than this, but yeah. <laughs> right, you me. had your face mask on, but I was like, that is so fine. Yeah, don't worry about it. Let's get back to business, Obviously, nobody though, wants huh? to date any woman that's looking like this, so yeah. I am going to jail, you. But yeah. You are such a handsome man. Oh, thank you. Fully. I appreciate that. I do. You bet. All right, ready? So there's one, two. Uh, I need to get a new job. He'll be walking around with cash uh. like this. <laughs> I'll be having a hard time trying to get groceries. Oh, we need a date. <laughs> yeah, you're good. So we're at 537. Okay. <clears throat> Put that with How the How long have you worked here? Um, I got hired in February of 2019. Okay. But I was... Right before the... You're like a year before the... Yeah. So then I got... I got... I worked here till like um, September of 19 and then I got deployed. With the guard, so I was I was gone for like a year, and then I came back. All right, ma'am, have a seat. Thank you. I hope at least I'm like one of the cuter people that you've had in your cop car. Oh. <laughs> Do not confirm or deny, please. Oh uh, yeah, I can't talk about that. Yeah, you can for legal purposes. <laughs> I'm too cute for prison. Don't do that to me. I've watched too many documentaries. You're gonna have to come back here and um, unbuckle me though, cause I'm kind of locked in here. Anyways, I'm sorry you're stuck with me though. That's all right, you know. I've been, like I said, with worse. You're just doing your job, huh? Yes, ma'am. You're just doing your job and you're stuck with my dumb unfortunately. I guess you could be stuck with worse. You could be stuck with somebody stinky and ugly, and I'm neither. <laughs> Did you say stinky? Yeah. Stinky <laughs> and ugly. <laughs> but I'm neither. I'm cute. So, and I don't belong in jail, but I guess I have to get dressed in that uniform, which is very embarrassing. What do you suggest? You're there, so go ahead. Maybe a little. <laughs> okay, maybe a little. <laughs> You're hey, hey, come over here. This way. Oh, I just want to say hi. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's wild, man. Just come over here. I'm sorry. It happens. You lead the way. Yeah, just have a seat. Right How right the hell am I supposed to know? Hi, Brandon. What are you doing? I'm a fallon now. Just right here, right here, man. You have other court cases or what? New Year's. New Year's is over four days ago. Hi. I know, but happy New Year to you. Yes, my boys don't like beat the at me, so I still have court cases going on. Unfortunately. Yeah. To be blunt with you, sorry. Mm -hmm. There's no way around that. No, it is what it is. I think I'm alright physically. One more time. I'll get you ready to go. Thank you. Thank you. I think I'm alright though, physically. Do you work all week or what? Every day? 
Yeah. Really? Yeah. You work every single night? Every single day. No kidding. Yeah. What time do you normally go in? Six. And you guys get off what? Close it at like midnight? Yeah. Oh, okay. But like us cleaning up afterwards, we go home later. Oh, I see. But you yeah. don't get paid hourly, huh? You just get tips or what? Exactly. Like so. we do get paid hourly, hourly, but like um, our tips cancel out. Like right. when so we get paid hourly. Does if you make sense? more than minimum wage, depending place? on what you claim. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You get that. I know how it works. I used to be a server, believe it or not. Yes. Uh, Really in Crucis. Okay. Where did you work? Applebee's. <gasps> Do you love it? Uh, no, I didn't like no, it. Didn't. No, it wasn't my Aww. thing. You were too cheap for an Applebee's. Oh yeah, well that's on you know, the only place they hire dudes. So. <laughs> but the uh, I was just going to school down there, so that's my job when I was in school. Okay. In the grand scheme of things, yeah. what happened tonight is nothing near what. Hey, what? The worst I've ever seen. So. I think you just said fall. Mm-hmm. At least that, I guess. But where are you originally from? Uh, Crucis. Okay, you yeah. really are from there? Yeah. Aww, how would. cool. Yeah, it's fun. So then being cross, that is like, uh, no, don't treat me like that. No. How are you? I'm a felon, not well. Hi. No, wait, give me a hug, though. Hi. You're maybe we'll be in one of my last hugs since jail. Oh, yes. Thank you. Okay. No. I did that though, so it's okay. I just want to be as cute as you one day. Oh yeah, I know. Love you. Love you. <laughs> oh, why you should? I still have to triage and then um, look how cute it is. Okay. Because because you. because you're so cute, sir. Oh yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm super happy right now. Hi. Hey, might as well choose me happy if you're. In Oh, you should have I got stuck with this cutie. Uh, I got stuck with the cutest one. Yeah. I got stuck with the cutest one. Yeah. I got stuck with the cutest one. Okay, so I'm 23, so like he's probably like 26 or 27. Oh, yeah. Your yeah, sister's sorry. the one who was there today, no? Or tonight? Uh, or that a different sister? My friend Stephanie was there. And uh, then my other friend Ruben was there. And they were like in the middle of it and like people had to ask them to step back. Mm. But my actual sisters were not there. Oh, okay. Because like, she said I was her sister. So I was yeah, like, oh. but that's her. She's like, yeah, just like your friend. Yeah, sister. like that's how I am. Too. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Yes. No, oh, oh, no, just excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You still you know everyone in there or what? Um, no, I'm just a people person. I oh, okay. can talk to everybody. I do know Brandon, but other than that. Oh yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I just like. I'm sorry. I don't support like um anybody that beats the f out of anybody else. You know, like women can beat the. F out of men and I know that for a fact and then men can beat the f out of women and like I'm sorry I'm cussing too once I say that but like uh, uh, I don't know like my ex-boyfriend did not get any penalties like for this and he didn't even get arrested or what no like nothing like he went back to his home like he he's um that night did they arrest him no, he, he left, and then they said they couldn't find him, and then yet, like, other people I knew in the same RV park were like, no, we saw him come back and stuff, you know? Well, I appreciate your company. Thank you so much for being a gentleman. I really do appreciate it so, so much. It's not the best company, but... No, you were the best company I could ever ask for. Trust me. Thank you. Very kind of you. Yes, yes. How I've... old are you? 27. <gasps> Very young. No. Too young. What's that? Yes, you're young. Yeah, I hope so. 27, that sounds yes. like it. I feel old, though. No, you're I feel I work too much. Yes. You probably do work too much. <laughs> yeah. But you are handsome. Oh, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Not to make us feel awkward. <laughs> Ultimately, after five hours of drinking, this woman was charged with aggravated DWI because her blood alcohol content was so high, but she was also charged with reckless driving for knocking over the traffic light post. And like that man said, luckily it was a red light, otherwise this would have been way worse. Finally, she had a mandatory fine that she had to pay.
So in this clip, a woman had the driver of the car that she was traveling in pull over and stop so that she could get out and confront a dog owner for allegedly kicking her dog. And this is how it played out. I don't know who you're walking up on right now. I ain't walking up on. I'm standing right here. You pay your taxes? Harmony. Yes, I sure do pay my taxes. Harmony. Can I help you? No, we can just stay here all f***ing day, yo. Um, how about you go back to your car with your husband and uh, go ahead about your husband. business? It ain't my car. Now, who okay. business you in? This is my house. This who is my dog. You, in? you said something to me the first. Damn dog, I saw you kicking. And like I said, I went like this to her face nice. so that she doesn't go ahead Let and go to that man in walking face. in the middle of the alleyway. Oh, I want you to, matter of fact. Bring this I want you to, matter of fact. So in this one, Karen is riding on a packed train and sets her purse on the seat next to her so that no one can sit there because Karen thinks everyone else is gross. But when Karen is confronted about taking up two seats on the packed train and still refuses to move her purse, it doesn't end up well for Karen or her purse. Unfortunately, folks, this is what it looks like when Karens think it is okay to Karen on the company dime. They're arguing about petty nonsense centered around who can use which bathroom in which part of the building. And we have it recorded, so uh, yeah. yeah. We pay she's rent in the owner. She's the owner of the business. And she pays the rent and, every month. And you pay rent. rent. I don't pay rent for anything. I work here. Yes, exactly. Okay, yes. you two have no right to get aggressive with my girl. I'm not getting aggressive with anybody. Calm do down. Do Calm down. Tone it down. down. Tone it down, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, yes, you did. did. You did. You did. What the hell is going on? No, you said what the F. F word, okay. You did. You did. Yeah, see? Just like that. Just like that. Can I ask you a simple question? You don't have to ask us nothing. Go talk to your landlord. 
I did talk to my Yeah, and what happened? Today. Nothing was said to us, so. Okay, yeah. listen to me for a second. I don't have to listen to nothing you're saying. I want to know I don't why have to listen to anything. In your building. Because I want to use it here. Yeah, why? Let's why? Because we want to. Be, but you don't pay rent here. So? This is not your ba building. It's not your bathroom. So? Talk to your manager so? about improving the bathroom I'm gonna still use if it. you don't like it. I'm still going to use it. Well, we'll, take well it okay. Then we'll, we'll just take it up it. with the landlord. Go for it. And go for it. And we'll seek a reduction in our rent uh -huh. because we can't use our own friggin' bathroom. First of all, I don't even know who else is in those other stalls. Who else is in those stalls? I have no idea. Your people. They seem to be camped out and there's probably somebody Okay. They are waiting at our receptionist the and saying hi. So they're antagonizing. Oh, I did not do anything. Oh, I said hi. I was oh, being pleasant. I was being pleasant. Yeah. And I said hi. Well, I, I did not wave or do anything. I did. I wave. Me. I wave. And I can and I will and I'll do it every time I walk in here. Yeah. Okay. okay. Right. You guys think you have a right to this bathroom? We will go over there. And go for it. Take liberties in your in your building. Hey, enjoy yourself. Go ahead. And we'll be very loud in the freaking lobby. Like That's okay. Being loud here in this. Uh, you're being loud. No. She you're came in loud. here yelling, saying the f word. So. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And what's wrong with that? And. And. What's up? We're here. Are you all 18 and years old? Is there somebody in that, that install or did you all lock it from the inside? Okay, bye. That's stupid. Shut the f up. Who are you? You know what? I'm leaving. You don't know about native people. You are just a f up. You don't put me under arrest. You're under arrest for DUI, okay? Go no, ahead and find it out. You do not force me. Calm down. Ah! So back on May 3rd, 2022, the Cass County Sheriff's Department was called because a vehicle had driven off of the road into what looks like a lake, but is actually a massive ditch filled with water. And inside of this water submerged vehicle was a 64 year old woman who we'll refer to as Karen along with her two dogs. But the heroes of the day were from the Harwood Fire Department. And just to give you some perspective, Harwood, North Dakota is a town that's about three or four miles north of Fargo, North Dakota. It was a Harwood Fire Department that was able to help Karen and her two dogs out of the water submerged vehicle and onto the side of the road into safety. Hi, Laurel. Deputy Fletcher with the oh, Sheriff's Office. Oh, you just go. What do you want? Uh, well, you crashed your car into water, so... Yes, I did. Okay. So get my dogs over what? there. Well, they're working on that. Do you have a driver's license anywhere? What? Do you have a driver's license anywhere? Yeah, it's in my home. It's in your home. Where's home at? Home? It's a mile and a half. Okay. What's, what do you, what's your last name, dear? Nielsen. Can you spell that? E -O -S -O -N. What happened today? I... I drank. You drank? Yes, I drank. Okay. So, pick me up. Ma'am, how much did you have to drink? Probably more than I should have. Okay. Where were you drinking at? No, in my own vehicle. I'm not stupid. Well, that's illegal. You can't do that. Well, you know. Well. This is a set for an ambulance. I'm not going anywhere. You don't want to? No, oh, here's the thing. Um, you guys leave us alone. You guys leave us native people alone. Laurel, it has nothing to do with that. You crashed your car, man. No, I, you guys leave us native people alone. What the Laurel, hell? This is nothing about native. No, it is. It's all about them. You have all these people. Hey, look at me, look at me. This is Stop nothing about, it. this is nothing about me. No, it is. Oh. No, it is. Oh. Laurel, you, oh. Laurel, you told me you were drinking and driving in your vehicle. Yes, I was. That's illegal. That's a native thing. But it's illegal. You can't do that here in North Dakota. You know okay. North Dakota. Well, I am so lonely. I don't know. Can you tell me what happened here? We can figure out what's going on and move on with the night. You're sitting out here wet. Shut up! You shut up! I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Don't talk to me like that. Shut the f up! Who are you? I'm a paramedic.
our medic here. We're calling for a oh, possible. What day of the week is it today, dear? Oh, what day of the yeah. week is it? It's yep. Tuesday. Tuesday. How about the month? 60 to 26. Oh, it's May 3rd. Close enough. Well, yeah. what, what road were you driving on? Mm -hmm. Only 17. So over by what town? What town is over that way behind you? Harwood. You know what? I'm Laura? leaving. No, I'm you're not. No, yeah, you're not. I am. Well, right now you're, you're being detained for an investigation for driving under the influence, okay? So you're not leaving. I just want you to relax, No, okay? I'm leaving. I'm going to spell your first name. Laurel. L-A-U-R-E-L-L. And I'm leaving. Laurel, I'm going to have to put you in handcuffs if you don't calm down, okay? I don't want to do that yet. You know what? What? Well, that's because you know what? If that's how you yeah, feel. That's how you uh, are about Native people. Actually, no one. How about that's your birthday real quick? Laura, you were asking about your blood sugar earlier? No! Okay. You know what? No. You better not Laurel. even think about detaining me. Well, you, you are you going better to. Better not! Uh, no, you don't take that dog! Laurel. Don't. No, 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 no. No! Stay. Stay. Please do not. Laurel, do, do not. not. Do not. Do not. Do not. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really? Yep. I had a medical problem. Oh, wow. Really? I asked you to not I'm... reach at me. Okay. Well, I'm going to. So now you're going in handcuffs. Yep. And I'm going to call my husband. Oh, well. Wow. They're going wow. in, a, in a car so that they don't run away because they're stuck in a water filled vehicle. Wow, you better take my dogs to my okay. house. Uh, well, let's just do you better. Take my dogs have, to my house. Now I have dogs in my car, so. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh my God. God. Laurel, relax, okay? Just take some deep breaths. Shut the f up, you fucking bitch. Well, nice really? to you too, ma'am. Really? Yep. Is that how you are? No. That you, I'm not. What are you doing? I'm covering up your feet. They're soaking wet and covered in mud, and I'm trying to be I nice, okay? I don't give a sh Laurel. Laurel. You don't know about Native people. Laurel, this has nothing to do with that, okay? No, it really does. No, it has to do with you the fact that know. you were drinking, uh, and you, you, drove, do you drove not your, know. Ma'am, you drove okay. your vehicle into water. I am going to protest. You don't know. Do you know who Willie Kirshner is? Because if you know who Willie Kirshner is, you will sign this. <laughs> and I am going to leave. You will just come upon a... Bring her to the hospital later. Put knee, we have to guys do it. Huh? Put knee, it's not going to be... Wrong, so. we'll wait till uh, Nitschke gets here. He's almost here. Okay. Are you warm enough, ma'am? Laurel, do you have any medical conditions anywhere? High blood pressure, <laughs> heart attacks, anything else? Want to sit in the warm ambulance for a little bit? Give me my dog. What's that? Give me my dog. I have them nice and safe right now. Yeah. Um, what's your big dog's name? The bigger, like this, uh, maybe a spaniel. Or, Annie. What is his name? Annie. Annie. Dylan. She was a little scared, so oh, I spent a little time. What the time f are hey, you doing? Come on. Okay. What the f are you doing? Listen, I did pet her for a little bit. She warmed up. She got. She's getting warm in the squad car. She's pretty I cool. Do she's pretty wet. Understand. So we got her warmed up. Okay. She's just warming up right Whatever now. Whatever you decide to do. Okay. Where are they going? I don't know yet. Oh, Nitschke's just getting here. So. Gotcha. If you transfer those dogs, you will be forever. I'm wondering where you want them to go. I want them to be in my home. Is yeah, anybody home. home right now? I can be there. No, you can't. Is your husband home? My husband is working. And who the f*** are you to decide? Uh, I think you are totally, like, not 
hey. deciding what? Where your dogs go? There's yeah. nobody at your house to take care of the dogs. Yeah, I'm there. Well, ha but you're not there, ma'am. You're sitting on the side of a road. And then what are you doing? I'm trying to help you. You are also sitting on the side yep. of a all road. All these people are, are sitting here trying to help you, okay? Yeah. I'm not sitting on the side of a road trying to be helped. You know, you are so f***ed up. You are just a f***ed up. Okay. Yeah, you just want to be this that controls everything. You know, I mean, if you want her to control things, you let her. She's law enforcement. Yeah. Oh boy. I'm just fire department. She's great. Let her be. Okay. Well, I'm asking. And then, then just ask her to take my dogs. I'm asking a simple question. I want to get your dogs to safety. Where would you like them? At your house? I want them at my house. Okay. Can I? Can we bring them down there for you? Yes. Okay. Get me out of this. No. I can't get you out of You're anything. Not. Okay. Out of Look at me. I will personally bring your dogs down to your house for you and make sure yeah. they're safe. Okay. Well, then let me be there. With them. That's not up to me. That's up to the law enforcement. So. I don't like her. I'm sorry. Would you rather talk to that guy over there, okay. Laurel, right. instead of me? Do you well, want to talk to my supervisor? Talk to this one. <laughs> talk to this one. Hi. You live on 17 there? Yes. Where's your, what's your address? We're going to bring your dogs to your house for you, okay? If there's nobody there, we can. I'm Abby there. There's nobody there? There's no caller to either of me Um... Is your is the garage unlocked that we can put them in the garage? We don't know how long I have a fenced in yard. No one the yard. else has that there. And I also have I have a garage. Okay. When does your husband get home? He gets home at twelve thirty, but that's not the point. The dogs yeah. have a dog Would door. we be able to call him? Yeah. To let him know what's going on? Yeah. Okay. Do you have his phone number? Do you know it? Yeah. I mean, I can do that. Okay. I, I, I. Got, Laurel, is, then here's the deal. I'm going to make you a huge deal, okay? I will make sure, we will make sure your dogs get safe, but I need you to cooperate with Deputy no, Hunter. No. Okay, thank you. Is your no neighbor, more swearing, please. Is your neighbor Ethan? Do you know yeah. Ethan? Yeah. Okay, does your husband know Ethan? Yeah. We, if Ethan's okay with it, can we have him keep your dogs? Ethan? Ethan doesn't want the dogs. Okay. Ethan's busy. Where are they? Ethan's a good man, though. Yeah. And so is Carol. We've kept them all the time. But we have them. a fence. I'm just trying to wait for these guys. They're going to figure it out. How are you feeling? Good. Good? Yeah. Okay. Have you been drinking anything at all? Um, I had two fireballs. You had two fireballs? Like yeah. those little shooters or what? Yeah. Where at? West Fargo. In West Fargo? Okay. Yeah. Do you live in West Fargo? No. Where do you I live? live about a mile from here. Okay. So, when did you drink those? Um, well, a while ago. A while ago? Before they... Okay, before you drove in, in the water here? Yeah. Okay. What well, happened there? How'd you, end up, okay. how'd you end up driving down here? Your dogs are good. Are they good? Yeah. Okay. They're, in, they're in the other deputy's car, so they're okay. good. Yeah. Um, well, it's a while ago. A while ago? Yeah. Do you normally drink? No. No? Okay. How often no. do you how often do you say you drink? I am a native person that's been on a dry journey. Okay. And then I kinda had a I don't know. I said that. Okay. Because of Roe v. Wade. Because of what? Roe v. Wade. Who's it? On the abortion. Oh, okay. And I'm sorry about that. So a lot of Native people have had a setback on this one. Um, so I, you know, I, I thought, well, I told my daughter that it's been a setback and I would be okay. Do you think you could stand up for me? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Here, let's do this. I'll, I'm going to take these off, okay? I just want to make sure you're not going to try to like argue with us or try to fight with us or anything like that. Okay. You've, I think you've had a little too much to drink. Yes. Yes? Okay. It's, you agree with that? It's been a hard day with the Roe v. Wade okay. thing. Okay. And... Let's, uh, you got dogs in your car? Yeah. 
Okay. I'll, I'll hold you here. Don't yeah, take she's... my... Please don't take my dogs. No, we won't take your dogs. We're going to sit her down again. Yeah. Laurel, you want her to just grab my hands here? Yes. There you go. There. I'm going to put my okay car up here. Yeah. You want to read her okay. that and then... It's almost the like we're getting ready to dance. Okay. There you go. There you go. You want her to sit still. Yes. Okay. You're going to do that yeah. kind of dance? Uh -huh. I'm not good at this. Oh, I'm not no, good at this. You can't call this. Right? Laurel, we're going to sit down here for now. Oh, no. Yep, Laurel's going to do that either dance. Okay. Come here. No, I can't right no. now. Laurel, we need to sit down. We need to sit down. Okay. Yep. The deputy. i got to read this to you. Okay? No, you're not taking my dogs. No, well, it's not about you. your dogs, okay? So. No. No what? I need you to listen. No what? You promised me. You, you don't no, break. you're not taking my dogs. This isn't not about your dogs. dogs, ma'am. Okay, your don't dogs take are safe. My dogs. Your dogs are safe right now. Okay. All right. No, you're Laurel. Laurel, I need you to listen. Okay. So I have to read this whole piece of paper to you. Okay. Laurel, where, where are you going? Hey, I made you a promise that I'd take care of the dogs, right? <laughs> we'll make sure your dog's safe. You promised me that you were going to listen to her and give her respect. Right now, I need you to listen to her and pay mm -hmm. her respect. Okay. Okay. I got your hand. There you go. The officer shall inform the individual that North Dakota law requires the individual to take the screening test to determine whether the individual is under the influence of alcohol and that refusal of the individual to submit to a screening test may result in revocation for at least 180 days and up to three years of that no. individual's driving no, privileges. Hold on. I'm not done yet. Listen. listen. That's for the screening test, for the chemical test. The law enforcement officer shall inform the individual North Dakota law requires the individual to take a chemical test to determine whether the individual is under the influence of alcohol or drugs and refusal of the individual to submit to a test directed by the law enforcement officer may result in a revocation of the individual's driving privileges for a minimum of 180 days and up to three years. Revocation for refusal to submit to testing, refusal to submit to an on-site screening test or, to, or a test to determine alcohol concentration, will result in revocation of your driving privileges as follows. First offense within seven years, 180 days. Second offense within seven years is two years. Third or subsequent offense within seven years is three years. If you refuse to submit to testing, you may be able to meet the requirements of North Dakota Century Code 39-20-04, subsection 2, to avoid revocation. If so, your driving privileges can be suspended instead of being revoked. All of the requirements must be completed within 25 days after this report and notice is issued. The requirements include sending the required affidavit to the driver's license division within 25 days, pleading guilty to a DUI slash APC within 25 days, and the court accepting the guilty plea, and giving up your right to an administrative hearing. The affidavit to cure refusal form can be printed from website www.dot.nd.gov forward slash forms forward slash sfn 58485.04 percent or greater laurel i need you to listen okay i'm listening okay if you refuse to submit to testing laurel and you have ever I'm had a listening. and you have ever had a prior dui or apc offense no in a commercial or non-commercial motor vehicle if your driving privileges are suspended or revoked based on a non-commercial DUI APC offense, your commercial driving privileges will be subject to disqualification for either one year or a lifetime. Do you understand all that? Yeah. Would you like to submit to a breath test? No. No? I'm, I am going to call my attorney. And he's done in New Mexico. Well, that is a refusal. Yep. And quite frankly... You're refusing to the... To the I'm going to call my attorney in New Mexico. Okay. You, yeah. you understand that if you refuse, your driver push privileges are immediately revoked. You understand that? That's all, that's all we're telling you? Yeah. Okay. See, this is what's going on right mm -hmm. now. You're, you're taking my driving privileges just because I went mm -hmm. there. Laura, are you intoxicated? I have had okay. enough to drink. Should you have been driving? No. Okay. Then that's... We, there's consequences. And then why aren't you, like, patrolling down by my neighborhood? Why am I not? I am. I was no, there, you uh, aren't. I was there the other you night. You are not. Okay. And this man, he is a good man. He is a good man. He is holding my hand. And, you know... Okay, I'll submit to it. Okay. I will. 
I will. But you know, I mean, this this just really bothers me okay. a great deal. I understand that. And you know, now I'm submitting to something because of him. I am not making you submit to anything. Okay, take a deep breath, here. Laurel. Tell Laurel. Me. No. I can't. I'm not. Laurel. Laurel. No. Can you take a deep breath? Can't no. say anything. No. I, I, I need him to consult me. I am not an attorney. I am not an no, attorney. No, consult me. No. Oh, I can't do that. I can help you with your health and your safety, but that's about it. Yeah. You do what you feel is right. In my heart. I cannot tell you that. I'm sorry, Laurel. In my heart, no. In no, my what? heart, no. You don't then, want to take the test? Are you willing if to I, take the test? If he, if I take the test, I, Laurel, he can't tell you what to do here, okay? I cannot tell you what to do. This is completely this is your your decision, and I'm up to you. You need to make that decision. She said I'm I not need telling to tell you anything. No, she said Laurel? she wants to talk to her. Oh, I cannot yeah. tell you that. But then, then she said she'd take that. it. So. I know. That's why. Oh. I mean. Did you I inform her you that she's under arrest? You have Wait, to make the decision you by yourself. I, I'm sorry, Laurel. You need to That's make the decision. You don't Pedro. put me under arrest. Okay. Do not. Okay. You do not. You do not take my dog. You do not do anything. I'm going to make sure your dogs are taken care of. <laughs> I I know, I'm going back I with my promise. dogs. This is my man. I'm not going to trust law enforcement. Oh. This is my man. Okay. Right here. I'm holding this. We're hand. not. We're not doing anything to 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 lose your trust here. We got a job to do. Um, and well, there are, and, and why, why well, aren't you doing what you well, should do? Laurel. Well, okay. These guys are my friends. No. Yes, I know. I understand that. But you know what? I grew up on the reds. This is, why aren't you Laurel. taking care of my people? Laurel, this is not the reservation. These are good people. No, they are yes, not. They are. They no, they are yes, not. They are. they are not taking care of my these, people. These two, I've worked around them for a long time, and they are good people. I promise you. They are very good people. I'm, I'm being honest with you. I've known them for many years. I trust them with my life. Okay. Well, unfortunately, this is up to them now. Okay? I'm sorry. I, I, I understand. Do you I have to let go of your hands. I'll wait for a oh, second. Where are my dogs? They're in they're, my car. They're, they're safe. They're no, the, they're they are hey. not in your car. Laurel. Yes, ma'am, they are. No, Laurel. they are not. Laurel. What did I make promise of? You're where okay. are Laurel. my dogs? They're safe. They're okay. not in the water. Hey. They're they're safe. Where you get my dogs to my home? Yep. Laurel, Laurel, calm down, please. Me. Okay. Me. okay. I made calm you down. promise. You get Laurel. my dogs yep. to my home. Laurel. Okay. Laurel. You do Laurel. not take my dogs. Laurel, I need you to calm down, Laurel. okay? Laurel. Just take a breath. Make your promise. Oh, just cooperate with these guys. Look at me. You need to cooperate. No, I'm not. You need Laurel. to cooperate. Laurel. You I trust. I'm going to take care of your dogs. Oh, just, we're just I'm trying to make sure you don't fall down. Your dogs. Okay? I'm let's, going. Let's take a walk. I'm not gonna. Hang tight. I... Laurel, we need to we need to see if if you're uh. You want help? No, just let her go. That's just, she's fine right now. You Laurel. can't walk. No. He didn't know your no, name. No, I Laurel, will. You can't walk. Okay. No, I will. Laurel. No, I'm not. Don't don't do this. You promised me you would be paid. Yeah, for you. And I'm still here. But so. you are not. You're not being honest yes, with I have. me. No, I'm. Uh, I'm okay. walking. Go, Laurel, okay. You You're me. under arrest for DUI, okay? Go no, ahead, put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Julie, right here. Go on up and take a Can seat here, okay? Yep. Yeah. Go Whoa, take a seat. How am I under Laurel. arrest? Laurel. You're take under a seat arrest up here. We'll talk about interest. it once you get no. in the car, okay? Can you step up? No, you didn't take blood. You didn't do anything. Laura, okay. put your feet in, okay? Put your feet in. Really? Yes, ma'am. Really. Laurel. Okay. Hey. Hey. No. The the guy that helped me. Hey, we gotta me. fix these. Um. Laurel, him. we gotta fix these. Listen. You. I'll, I'll, I'll put them up front. You wanted me 
to tell you the name of my husband. Yes, Scott Grivno. Scott what? Grivno. Grivno? Grivno. Grivno. I don't, we didn't take the last names because my first husband and I. Okay, I appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. and I'm not going to deal with you. I will deal with him. No. Okay, we got to put those back on though. No, I'm not going to. Laurel. No. Oh, God. I'm calling my attorney. You can call okay. your attorney. Yep, yeah, that's it. That is, you do not force me. Okay. No. Ah! 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 Laurel, put your hand ah! behind your back. No. Ah! Ah! Put your other hand behind no! your back. Calm down. Laurel, we've told you six times where your dogs are at. You're not remembering it because you're intoxicated. Laurel, what are you doing? Lori. What's that? Are you okay? What are you doing back here? Okay. Well, just hang tight. They're gonna come and check you over and make sure you're not hurt. They're in my car, right behind you. Do not take my dogs. Well, I have to find somebody that's willing to care for them. I don't know if your no, neighbor can I do don't it. Call my attorney. Well, we got to get through a couple things first, okay? But I'm not, I don't want to keep your dogs, okay? I don't want to take them to the pound. That's not my goal. My goal is to get them to your house. Do not take my dogs. Laurel, Lori, I'm not trying to, okay? I don't want to. But I can't just drop them off and leave them. I got to make sure that someone's going to be there in a little while to care for them. So, what's up? I can be there. You, Ma'am, you cannot. I'm sorry. Okay? Well, that's not your fault. It is, but we're, we're... No, it's not your fault. Lori, I'm not going to leave your dogs, okay? I'll make sure they're cared for. I'm not going to take them. I'm not going to keep them. Do not take my dogs. <laughs> Lori, I don't... I, I will call my... Lori, I promise you I don't want to take well, your dogs. I do not want to deal with my attorney. Well, Laurel, Lori, I... I, I work with my attorney. It's... I, that's fine. I'm not going to... But I'm, I'm not going to take your dogs. I don't want to... You are definitely not going to take my no, I, I, that is nothing that I want to do, okay? I don't want to keep them, I don't want to I, take I them. I will deal with you. <laughs> I, Lori, look at me, I promise you, your dogs are going to be okay. Where's that guy that I like? Ryan has to go back to the fire department. Yeah, okay? I like him. I, he's a nice and, guy. And yep. you know, quite frankly, you're okay. But that guy that transferred me here, I don't want, I Lori, I... Don't you bring him. The one that drove you, ma'am? I want my dog. They're, they're right behind you. They're okay. I just checked on them. Hey, Lori. Yeah. Can I read you something? Do you understand these rights as I have read them to you? What part don't you understand? Why am I... For driving under the influence. I was not under the influence. Well, Okay, but that you asked why you were under arrest, that's why. Okay, do you understand these rights as I have explained them to you? Okay, the, I understand that that's your stance, but that has nothing to do with these questions. I was not under the influence. That's not the question that I'm asking you. I'm asking if you understand the rights as I have read them to you. What are the rights? What are the rights again? So you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand this stuff? No. All right, Lori. Here's what we're going to do, okay? So listen real no. quick. No. no. Where are my dogs? Your dogs are in the other car. No. I want my attorney. Okay. 
Yep, and we can work on that, but yes, this is what we no. need to do first. I you do not. I want my attorney. We're here, we're here at the hospital to get you checked out, okay? No, I want my attorney. And then we're going to go back. No, we are not. You don't want them to check you out? I want my attorney. That's a separate thing, Lori. I was trying to explain that. No, I want my attorney. And I have a right to that. You okay. have a right to an attorney if you're yep. not being questioned, ma'am. I want my attorney. You're not being questioned, you're being medicated. No, I want my Lori, attorney. Lori, we will get you that, but this is step one. No, I want my attorney. Okay. Are you refusing to go in there and get checked out? Yep. Okay. I want my attorney. And it comes as a surprise to nobody. Karen was ultimately charged with driving under the influence of alcohol.